In this lesson, we're going to be looking at um, the drum kit grooves two sheet, which you should have a printout of. And if you don't, you will hopefully have a PDF available. Okay. Um, the the sheet involves opening the hi hat in quaver based grooves. Okay. So you should have already done the bronze sheet to have done this one. Sorry, drum kit grooves one. You should have completed before you try drum kit grooves two. Okay because it uses a lot of those grooves, but just adds an open hi-hat. I'm going to explain each one, and then we're going to try and play them, okay? The first one, bass and snare and bass and snare open, and you do an open hi-hat. Watch. I notice I lift my foot, but I hit it when it's open as well. And then to restart, you're going to have to do both feet down together, on the first beat. So that last bit's going to go like this. You might want to practice this. It's the whole thing. If it helps, you can say bass and snare and bass and snare up. And on up, you lift your feet up, and on bass, they go down together. Bass and snare, and bass and snare, up. Bass and snare, and bass and snare, up. Okay? Let's go on to groove two now. Very similar idea, but you've got an extra bass drum, so it's going to go bass and snare, and bass, bass, snare, up. Bass and snare, and bass, bass, snare, up. Try to say it before you play it, and remember we want to get eight times each one, before we move on to the next one. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Groove number three is the same idea, but the bass bass is at the beginning of the bar. So try to say this with me. Bass, bass, snare, and bass, and snare, up. Bass, bass, snare, and bass, and snare, up. Bass, bass, snare, bass, and snare, up. Okay? Here's how it should sound. Once you've uh, tried saying it, try saying it whilst you play it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And that is that one done, okay? Uh, let's look at number four, which has two open hi-hats in it. It's going to go bass, bass, snare, up, bass, bass, snare, up, bass, bass, snare, up. And remember when we say up, that's where the, the hi-hat opens. So have a look at this. So my feet are going bass, bass, snare, up, bass, bass, snare, up, bass, bass, snare, up. Okay, that's number four. Number five is a bit different. We're going to do bass, up, and then close the hi-hat on the snare. Watch. And again. So the whole groove is bass, up, snare, run, bass, and snare, run. Okay, so hopefully you're comfortable with grooves one to five on the sheet, drum kit grooves two. I would make sure you can do all of those eight times round before you try the next bit, okay? The next bit is groove six. We're gonna say bass and snare, bass, bass, up, snare, run. Bass and snare, bass, bass, up, snare, run. Okay, groove seven, the next groove, is probably the most challenging one on there because it's got an open hi-hat at the same time as the bass. If you look at the last note, it goes like this. 
And then you've got to close it on beat one when you come back to the beginning. So it goes like this. So you're going to go bass and snare, bass, bass and snare, bass, and that bass has an open hi hat on it. And then you come back to the closed bass, so the closed hi hat on beat one. So have a listen. Okay, that is a real challenge. If you're struggling with that one, you can always come back to it. The next one, Groove 8, is actually a little bit easier. It's going to go bass and snare, t t bass, snare, open. Bass and snare, t t bass, snare, up. Yeah? Bass and snare. Okay, remember tut tut is the hi-hat on its own. Okay, if we look at groove number nine, this is another challenging one. It's got an open hi-hat on its own on beat three. One and two and three and four and one and two. And the groove is bass and snare, bass, open, bass, snare, and bass and snare, bass, open, bass, snare, and try saying that for a while before you play it. Here's the demonstration. One, two, three. Okay, that's groove nine. Now, the last three grooves are a little bit different again, so they've got lots of open hi-hats, okay? I would recommend you start off with groove 11, so we're gonna look at groove 11 before groove 10, okay? Groove 11, you've got your feet going like this the whole time. Bass up, bass up, bass up, bass up, bass up. Now, if I play the hi-hat, listen. And then all you've got to do is put a snare in. So it's like bass and snare and bass and snare and, but you keep doing this, okay? So. Now groove 10 is very similar. Wait till you've got groove 11 sorted, eight times no mistakes. And then for groove 10, you're just going to take out the bass drum where the snare is. So instead of going, the snare is going to be played on its own, just with the hi-hat. Look. So your foot is tapping with the bass and the snare like this. And then you've got to keep your, your right hand going. So those two are kind of disco beats, okay? Maybe ask your mum or dad about what uh, disco music is, okay? Um, we're going to look at groove 12 now, which is a bonus beat. This is a real challenge. If you've got all the rest down and you're finding them easy, try groove 12, okay? Groove 12, your hi-hat is going to be stepping in the gaps between the bass and the snare, like this. So practice it like this first. And then when you play the hi hat at the same time, it'll sound like this. So the end result is the the hi hat opens on the bass and snare and closes on the ends. Okay, right. I hope you you have a lot of fun with these. You can try mixing them up, try playing two grooves together to make a two bar phrase. You could try two and four, or three and six.